A very, very, very good morning to each and everyone present here, respected members of the dais, students, teachers. I'll begin with a story, small one. I always do. एक बार एक बालकनी में एक पिंजरा लटक रहा था सोने का पिंजरा जिसमें सोने की कटोरियां थी जिसमें मेवे थे और उसमें एक तोता था लेकिन बहुत दुखी लग रहा बाहर एक भूखा तोता इधर उधर घूम रहा था खाने की तलाश में सोने के पिंजरे के अंदर की सोने की कटोरी के अंदर के मीठे मेवे की खुशबू से वो वहां आया और उस पिंजरे वाले तोते से पूछता है तू क्यों दुखी है मैं भूखा मर रहा हूं तेरे पास तो मेवे हैं तब पिंजरे वाले तोते ने एक लाइन में उसका जवाब दिया कहीं भली है कटु निम्बोरी कनक कटोरी की मेवा से मतलब बाहर घूम के कड़वी निम्बोई खाना मुझे बहुत अच्छा लगता है ना के सोने की कटोरी में से मेवे क्योंकि मेरे पास आजादी नहीं है इससे फ्रॉम दिस यू कैन मेक आउट द इम्पोर्टेंस ऑफ फ्रीडम None of us, none of us have experienced what not being free is. Today we are so much habituated to our freedom that we take it for granted. This is one mistake in life we should never make. The greatest gift that a human being can get or even any living being can get is freedom freedom of his movement freedom of his living the lifestyle that he wants and above all the freedom of having his own thoughts his own identity and his own personality the country also has its own personality india was once sone ki chidiya today there is a craze in the world i have seen people literally begging the officials at the american embassy for a visa to america why our country is as good or better but they want the lifestyle there the materialistic th things there they will also come to our country it is in our hands how we do it children on this independence day i just want you to think about the way things were 75 years ago about a quarter of a century ago freedom is a very precious very precious jewel awarded to us and awarded to the lucky few in this world today we are governed by rules and regulations in this country but these rules and regulations have been created made in keeping in mind that the people of the country come first we are fortunate to be living in a country which is rich in resources rich in culture rich in heritage rich in its youth and its talent rich in its old age people and their traditional culture cultural values economically we are becoming rich so why not as a country become one and become a single embodiment of india we are not hindus we are not muslims we are not sikhs or we are not christians we are indians one single embodiment known only as indians be proud to be an indian be proud of your freedom 
and be proud of your culture.